In our next series of videos, we are going to create a mobile first multi device yummy recipe website. Uh, well, I don't want to say a site so much as a page that's going to have uh, a recipe of our choice. And um, I mentioned that it's mobile first in the sense that when we develop it, we're going to develop it from uh, a mobile first consideration, so a very narrow viewport. And then we're going to work our way up to accommodate larger screens like the one I'm working with over here. So essentially the website will be multi-device. It'll be uh, looking good at all sorts of different devices. Uh, we'll optimize it for mobile which by virtue will optimize it for our desktop. And um, we'll add a couple of cool, um, well obviously it's responsive so we look at how all these things sort of align like so. Uh, we do have a cool functional component over here since um, part of any website is sort of some kind of promotion or some something to get feedback or link with your audience. We actually have a working subscription form over here that links in with MailChimp. Uh, MailChimp is a great uh, service that you, for free you could essentially create a form that will allow you to have people sign up and then you could email them anytime you know if for the, our fictitious page over here it'd probably be emailing them updates on um, recipes and whatnot um, we have of course an embedded YouTube video that is yes indeed responsive and we also have some photos that are responsive see at the mobile size they're square, and as we get larger, they get rounded. This is all done with CSS, uh, multiple breakpoints, and here's a cool little uh, way to show you what it looked like in multiple devices. We end up having the site on mobile, so right off the bat, they have what it is. You see, this is a little bit mobile landscape, and you just sort of see what it's going to look like at all these different device widths and sizes. Pretty cool. And only at the largest breakpoints over here do these things actually really start to change. Anyway, um, we've got plenty to cover, so let's get right into it. 